Hi, my name is Laura Ferguson and I'm the Deputy Head Teacher for ACE1 and moving into the new ACE2. Due to the focus on online learning, we were unable to issue reports at the scheduled time this year. However, I am delighted to see that staff have now completed the full ACE1 reports, which I hope you find useful and informative. The purpose of this short video is to allow you to meet some staff, some subject specialists who can give you an idea of some progress in ACE1 and general progression into ACE2. Bonjour à tous. Hello there everyone, my name is Jude Colton-Jones. I am the Principal Teacher of Modern Languages at Willingwood. We just wanted to say how fabulous S1 have been this year. They've really embraced French. Um, they have made great progress across their four skills. Um, we've done lots of different topics um, and they've done really well in that. They've also really embraced online learning. Lots of them submitted a fabulous Francophone new project and we were delighted with that. And moving on into S2, we're going to be building on our reading, writing, listening and talking skills. And we're going to start with a really good topic of food and drink. So we're delighted and we can't wait to see you back in school in August. Hi, first year. Uh, just a wee message from the Designing Technology Department. Uh, we look forward to having you guys back in S2 in August. Uh, you've all been working really hard on Teams, uh, producing some excellent work, and we're really proud of the effort that you've put in. Uh, when you come back in August, uh, just now we are looking at making the workshop as safe as possible, uh, looking at changing the graphics classroom so that we can get you guys in and get some work done. Um, when you come back, we're going to be focusing on graphics, uh, looking at different CAD modelling techniques and looking at some desktop publishing. Uh, you'll also be doing um, a bit in the workshop. We're going to get you into the workshop making models um, and your rotations. So we're looking forward for you guys to show some of your design work and to be back in the department to enhance your learning. Hello, my name is Helen McKelvey and I'm the Principal Teacher of Food and Textile Technology. We've actually been delighted with our pupils and their enthusiasm they've demonstrated for Google Classrooms. They've been creative and innovative with their assessment assignments and they have been cooking at home and the photographs have been spectacular. Um, when in the department, the pupils spend six weeks in food technology and six weeks in textile technology. Initially in both subjects, we concentrate on classroom safety and the safe use of equipment. In food technology, we cover a wide range of topics in S1, including weighing and measuring, sensory analysis, and current dietary advice. In practical classes, we build on people's skills and techniques, and we use a variety of recipes. And oddly, the most popular are the sweet baking recipes. In textile technology, pupils learn how to use various sewing equipment, fabric properties, and basic hand and sewing machine skills. Pupils progress and build their textile skills and knowledge through a, through a combination of practical and theory lessons. One of the highlights in the department is our Junior Master Chef competition, where our S1 and 2 pupils uh, produce a two-course meal, which is judged by professional shell chefs. Each year, we are delighted by the standards that they've achieved. The department offers a wide range of clubs and they are very popular and well attended, so popular that they're on a rotation basis. As our pupils progress to S2, we continue to build on their skills and encourage their enthusiasm for food and textiles and it is really important for them to continue to practice at home. All our recipes are on the website on the FATT page. For us, our goal is to give our pupils life skills and help develop independence. Hello, my name is Lynn McRover, I'm Principal Teacher of English and Literacy. Um, just to give you an indication of what your pupils have been doing or your children have been doing in the first year. Um, we covered four modes, reading, writing, talking and listening, and also we concentrate on developing knowledge about language, as well as a love for reading through our Reading for Google programme. Pupils have been engaging very well through Google Classroom, and when they come back, NS2 will continue to encourage their reading, and they'll come back to doing their travel writing here. To say thank you very much for encouraging your pupils to work so hard in this one. Hello, I'm Kathleen Monaghan and I'm the Acting Principal Teacher of Social Subjects. In S1, our pupils rotate across History, Geography and Modern Studies. What I've been most impressed with this year is their creativity and enthusiasm. So, for example, in Geography they made volcanoes that they exploded in class. In History they made news reports on the Holocaust. And in Modern Studies they took part in lively debates on human rights in China. In second year, they will continue to rotate. They should work on developing their written answers as fully as possible, as well as using more complex sources. And they'll be learning new content. So in history, they'll be looking at the 1960s as a change of time, looking at the Cold War, Vietnam, 
the space race and the civil rights movement in America. In geography, they'll be looking at globalisation, so looking at the impact of climate change and also developed and developing countries. And in modern studies, they will be studying conflict and terrorism, the impact that they have on countries and the way in which various organisations respond to them. I hope that's helpful and we very much look forward to seeing second year when they return. Hello, my name is Catherine Selby and I'm the Principal Teacher of Performing Arts here at Wildingwood High School. Performing Arts consists of two subjects, drama and music, and we've been absolutely delighted with the engagement of the pupils in both subjects. We've also been really impressed with the numbers involved in extracurricular clubs, which include the Junior Drama Club, the Musical Theatre Club, Junior Concert Band, Junior Choir, and Ukulele Club, to name just a few. In S1 Drama, the first years have been very engaged in creating and devising performances. They have built their confidence working in small groups and performing in front of each other. They have also had the opportunity to make props and I've been just so impressed with all the props that they made for the characteristic unit. In S2 Drama, they will continue to build on these skills. They'll also get the opportunity to learn about stage fighting, which will be led by teacher demonstrations. And they'll also get the opportunity to learn about some of the other theatre arts, such as sound, lighting and costume. In S1 Music, the students have been really engaged with learning different instruments and have really developed their skills and their confidence in the glockenspiel, the keyboard, ukulele. And then and some students have had the chance to do a drum kit as well. In S2, they will also get this opportunity to work on drum kit and on guitar. They have, will learn about film music and they will learn about the music industry. And they'll also get the opportunity to be in a band and to record themselves. We hope you all um, have enjoyed first year and we look forward to getting you back in August um, to start second year. Hello, my name's Miss Halliday and I'm the Principal Teacher of Art and Design and Photography. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for all your hard work and all your motivation that's taken place in your first year. It's been a wonderful year and you've worked so incredibly hard. I think all of this um, hard work has been reflected in the before and after uh, portrait and character that you produced. The, and this was perfectly highlighted in the assessment event that you carried out within the street. Uh, the skill-based programme of study was just reflected in the work that you placed down in the street and it was just magnificent. Your first rotation in S2 will be your character and here are your characters here and you're going to be building and constructing a character of your choice that you would like to, to create three-dimensionally and I'm really looking forward to seeing the progress that you make in S2. So good luck, have a wonderful summer holiday and we'll see you in August. Hi, my name is Ryan McAllister and I'm Principal Teacher of Mathematics in the University of Williamwood High School. Over the last year, our first year pupils have been following the third level of the Broad General Education with great success. Throughout this level, we have focused heavily on numeracy skills to consolidate the learning from primary and also to allow us to highlight transferable skills across the curriculum. Within the third level, pupils have taken on concepts such as algebraic expressions, ratio and most recently, prime decomposition. In addition to this, we've also challenged the pupils by having them complete a come dine with me task to allow them to use budgeting skills and see exactly what they should be doing when they're making meals in the house. Moving forward into ACE 2, we'll be progressing into the fourth level. Within the fourth level, we'll be laying the foundations for the national qualifications, therefore pupils will be tackling concepts such as trigonometry, Pythagoras, circular geometry and volume. We very much look forward to having our pupils back and we wish them all well. Hello, I'm Mrs Gibson, I'm the Principal Teacher of Chemistry at Williams High School. I've had the absolute delight working with your boys and girls in S1 this year, where we've been working through third level science and they have been looking at atoms, elements and compounds, a little bit of electricity um, and also a little bit of space, as well as a bit of biodiversity. We've been absolutely overwhelmed by their work ethic and we are delighted with the work they've produced um, using their investigative skills, their research skills and of course Google Classrooms. Um, moving forward into ACE 2, I'm going to hand over. I'm Mrs McFadgen, I'm the Principal Teacher of Biology and I have the great pleasure of working with your boys and girls this year. Um, they have worked so well during Google Classrooms, as Mrs Gibson's mentioned. And just recently they've been looking at their study skills and how to prepare for assessments and also exploring the ways and how they can research. They, in August, they were moving on to looking at fuels and metals. 
they were looking at forces and also the body systems and DNA. So we really look forward to seeing them in August and hopefully meeting you as well. Hi, my name is Paul Madden, Principal Teacher of PE here at Wellingwood. S1 have been a very successful first year in our department, participating in a wide range of physical activities and demonstrating a very high level of practical performance overall. Our course also focuses on what we call the cognitive and personal significant aspects, which are essentially a range of more transferable skills, and we challenge people to develop these through sport. Uh, they include determination, responsibility, leadership, communication, among others. Um, they've really excelled in this area and this has led to a very positive ethos in, in all S1 classes and pupils have developed their awareness of these skills and qualities but also made significant process with them. Um, other than that, pupils' achievements have also been recognised in PE, not least through our Sports Committee, uh, Sports Colours, sorry, and uh, People of the Block Awards, the latter of which pupils vote for one another using the skills and qualities I mentioned earlier which they seem to really enjoy and value. A large number of S1 pupils have attended a range of extracurricular clubs at lunchtime and after school in the PE department. We'd encourage them to continue doing that next year whenever we're obviously we're up and running fully. Um, online learning's been taking place recently and it's focused mainly on en enjoyment and staying active and pupils have responded very well. Um, we aim to continue these themes in S2 and also add in some of those skills and qualities that I mentioned earlier. The PE staff very much look forward to seeing OS1 back again very soon and hope, to, hope that they continue to have a positive experience in S2 in the PE department. Hi everyone, I'm Val Martin, I'm the faculty head at the ICT and I'm here just to give you some information about how the first years have been doing this year and what they can expect to do in the second year. So the first year so far, uh, they've covered a little bit of what we do in admin IT, so they've practically been looking at spreadsheets and word processing. They've then went on and tackled a unit on business, so that unit included things like marketing, a little bit about branding, uh, and that's what they kind of finished doing when we went into lockdown. Uh, since then, they have been uh, working on uh, various little projects uh, on Google Classroom, and that's kind of set them up for what they're going to be doing uh, in second year. They've been engaging really well, uh, according to what the teachers are telling them, what they've been doing on Google Classroom. Uh, some little literacy and numeracy uh, tasks they've been working on there as well, which has also been good. When they go into second year, they will be working on more of the computing, si computing science side of the course, which gives them a little insight into what they could do, you know, they end up doing if they come back in third year for National 5. So there they're looking a bit about uh, inside Sparky, which is about the insides of the computer, uh, HTML, a bit of a web development, and a, bit, a little bit of programming uh, in Python. When they come back for the third block, the, uh, we've got a cyber security unit that seems to be doing really well when they come back, if they're coming back uh, for the third term. So they've got quite a, a, a very timetable to, to get involved in and I'm pretty sure that they'll do, I'm very sure that they'll do just as well as they've done uh, during the first year. Hi, my name is Ravi Ramanujam and I'm the principal teacher of RMPS, which is Religious, Moral and Philosophical Studies. I wanted to tell you a bit about the year that we've had uh, and the wonderful work that has been done by our S1, now S2 pupils. Most pupils began the year with a unit called Meeting RMPS where they explored a range of issues that they're going to go on to in greater depth throughout their time at Williamwood, such as does God exist, is it ever right to lie, and where did the universe begin? Many went on to look at a philosophical course, um, examining issues such as can computers think and can you ever know anything for sure, really developing their critical thinking skills. And um, most people went on to study ways of life, which examines how people around the world live in different ways. So pupils have really developed um, a good understanding of the world, of themselves, um, and that only continued on Google Classroom, where we know it's been a very difficult year, uh, but pupils really adapted incredibly well, and the focus so far has been on looking at the difference between adulthood and childhood, and moral issues such as working and voting. And we've moved on to look at a very topical issue, um, examining street signs and street names and statues in Glasgow and how they relate to the past uh, and what we should do about it now. And we've seen tremendous enthusiasm from, uh, from our new S2 pupils uh, regarding this. And we're just so incredibly eager to have them back uh, in, in August and we really can't wait. And uh, it'll be, it'll be a, an exciting year, a challenging year. The demands of, um, of our NPS get greater as we move towards extended piece of writing and more in-depth learning. But we really can't wait and we're very excited. So we're looking forward to seeing you at Parents' Evening and your son and daughter in August. Thank you. Hello, my name is Nicola Mortimer. I'm one of the principal teachers of development here at Williamwood. Thought it might be useful to share with you a couple of simple study techniques 
that may help your child with the consolidation of the learning, particularly as we move to the more blended learning approach of learning inside and outside the classroom. Two techniques I'm going to show with you do not require ICT, so no computer, just traditional pen and paper, and these can be carried out any time, any place as a way of summarising and reviewing information. The first technique is mind mapping. It's a visual display of organised information. So it's a way of looking at a topic or a key theme or key area and being able to sort and organise the information into appropriate and manageable chunks. The way looking at it will be William Wood as the key theme or key area, see the primaries as that sub-topic and then further, the more detailed you can get as you branch off away from the key area. This can be applied to any subject and works well as a revision of a, of a big chunk of learning. The second technique is study cards. Using card or paper cut up into rectangles can be a really good way of actively reviewing learning and understanding. A really good way of using study cards is vocabulary. Pupils can write a key term on one side and the definition on another. They can quiz themselves, they can get someone else at home to quiz them. It's a good active way of checking understanding. Some other examples of pupil work of using study cards, as you can see, we can have more detailed summary of information using words and pictures and diagrams, however that child learns, and just simple pictures as a way of chunking information and make it more manageable. I hope these two techniques help. Along with your child's report, I hope that you find this short video useful. I'd like to take this opportunity to wish you a healthy and happy summer break, and we all very much look forward to seeing you ace two in August. Take care.